Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we are going to see how we can able to prepare normalized difference water body index that is NDWI. So let's will understand first what is NDWI. So if you go to Google and if you search this normalized difference water body index, you will get this article. I will share link in the description box. So it is nice article you can able to read here. So information is given there. So the normalized difference water body index is used to highlight open water feature in the satellite image. So we can able to interpret the open water feature in the satellite image. So how we can able to calculate this? Okay, to calculate this, we require actually green and NIR band divided by green plus NIR band. So if you'll see the Landsat 7, the NDWA that is a band two and band four that we are going to use in Landsat 7. But if you're using the Landsat 8 data, then band 3 and band 5 will be helpful because this band 3 is green and this band 5 is NIR. And if you're using the Sentinel data set, then this band 3 and band 8 will be useful. So make sure you check what satellite data you're using accordingly that you can able to use this. So I'm using here Landsat 8 data set. This Landsat 8 data set I have downloaded from the UHGS Earth Explorer. And after downloading the Landsat 8 data, I have extracted and I have added the band number 3 and band number 5. Okay, so band number 3 and band number 5. As you can able to see here, in DWI band 3 minus band 5 divided by band 3 plus band 5. This formula we are going to use. So let's, we'll go to this view. Okay. In the view, there is a geoprocessing tool. In the geoprocessing tool, here you can able to search the tool. What are the tool we want? You can able to search here. Or otherwise, you can able to go to a spatial analysis tool. Okay. In the spatial analysis tool, there is a map algebra, there is a raster calculator. Okay. So we can directly search here as well. Raster calculator. So after that, here you can able to see if I'll click here, it is a band three and here is a band five. Okay. So you can read here. So first we'll add float here. So if we'll scroll down, you will see the float option is there. Okay. Float. Then band three is green. Then add this inside one. Okay. Minus. minus okay then band 5 okay after that after that divided by again i will take float so this is the band number 3 then plus band number five okay so we have used this formula band three minus band five divided by band three plus band five so let's i will save in the folder where i'm working so here i will add as a new ndwi just click on the save and just click on the run So it is saying that it is successfully completed. So let's I will uncheck this and right click, go to symbology. From here, we can able to classify this. And we can change color from here. So now we can able to see this showing our water body class okay so according to that we can able to change the color what are the color you want we can able to change and now i'm interested to extract this water body what are the water body you can able to see here i mean interested to extract separately so we can able to reclassify this okay as you can able to see here they have given how we can able to interpret this so from 0 0.2 to 1 is a water surface. 
and above zero there is a flooding and humidity is there okay and uh, less than zero there is a moderate drought and non aqueous surface and minus 1 to 0 0.3 is a drought and non aqueous surface so we are going to take the value above 0 0.1 so let will reclassify this. How we can able to reclassify? Just go to raster calculator, go back and search here, reclass. So you will get reclassify tool. This is the special analysis tool, reclassify. Then we need to add this, our new NDVI, new NDWI. After that, whatever the classes we want to do, just click on the classify. And here I'm interested for the three classes. Okay. So let I will take three classes that is a below zero and above zero. Okay. So this first class I will keep as it is. Then I will add here as a 0, 0.0 and above 0, 0.0 is my flooding and water body surface so i will keep as it is for the remaining place just click on the ok and after that where you want to save this just choose a folder so i will save here as a reclassify in dwi just click on the save and just click on the run So we are going to reclassify and we are going to extract this water body area. So this is reclassified in three different classes. So this color indicating the water body area. So how we can able to extract this much of portion. So after reclassifying it, we can convert this raster to poly and after that we can export the poly feature. So for that, you can able to go to conversion to in the conversion to there is an option from raster to polygon so from raster to polygon you can able to select this reclassify in dwi after that where i want to save this so i'll go to the location and i will save here that is rust to poly, rust to poly in TWI. Just click on the save and just click on the run. So this will take little bit time to convert from raster to poly. After conversion, this you can able to see in the attribute table, there is a class one, two, and three class will be there. Okay, two and like this. So we are going to dissolve this on the basis of this grid code. And from that, we can able to merge all these classes like one into one classes, two into two and three into three. So for that, I'll go back and I will search here, dissolve tool. Okay, so this is the dissolve. And in the dissolve, I will add this. Then output location. And on the base of this grid code, I'm going to dissolve this. So other option I will keep as it is and I will just click on the run. Now it is successfully dissolved. Okay, if you right click, go to attribute table, you will see it is dissolved into three classes. And the third number is our water body. So if you right click, go to symbology, and we can click on the unique values. We can click on the
graduate color and here i can able to select this color ramp okay so this third one third one is there that i'm interested okay this remaining classes i will delete i'll just keep this third number classes so just right click and we can able to go to attribute table and from the attribute table i'm interested to delete this one and this class i don't want so i delete so we left only with the water body class okay so this way very easily we can able to prepare normalized difference water body index and we can able to extract our water body area okay so it is very easy if you are having any doubts you can ask me in the comment sections and this some classes are there where there is no water body you can able to delete this class as well okay so some we are getting very accurately somewhere we are not getting accurately but where you are not getting accurately you can delete that as well okay so if you are having any doubts you can just ask me in the comment sections if you like this video you can share with your friends don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you